This is the Patek Philippe Calatrava 5119 in white gold, and it is probably the most traditional looking watch I have ever seen. In my opinion, the design looks just like the stereotypical granddad's watch, which is in many ways why I like it, and also why I don't. This particular version was released in 2006, and it plays tribute to the first version of the Calatrava, reference 3919, which was launched back in the year 1932. Patek Philippe refers to the Calatrava series as, quote, their signature model. This watch costs approximately 20,000 US dollars, and that makes it one of the most affordable watches offered by Patek today. I think this watch is beautifully elegant in subtle ways, but my biggest critique is the way it feels. Yes, its finish is immaculate, and the timepiece, quote, showcases sleek lines and subtle elegance, but in my opinion, this timepiece is very serious, feels too reserved, and just not that fun or exciting to wear. This is probably due to Patek targeting a completely different age group than myself. I much rather prefer the reference 5227, which is Patek Philippe's modern approach of the classic Calatrava. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Moving on, the case size is 36mm, which is very small for modern standards. However, this is larger than the original reference 3919 of 33.5mm. This Calatrava has a sapphire crystal case back and runs on a mechanical, manually wound movement with a power reserve of around 44 hours. I really admire the thin and lightweight 7mm case of this timepiece, especially considering how many components Patek have managed to fit inside the 2.5mm thin movement. The piece consists of 130 parts, and given the size of this mechanical watch, that by itself is quite incredible. The watch is water resistant up to 25 meters. The bezel is famous for being decorated with the Claude de Paris hobnail pattern, and the dial is incredibly luminous due to the black Roman numerals on the bright white background. This watch has a glossy black alligator strap. Let me know what you think of this watch, and please check out my channel to see more videos, including an unboxing video of the currently rare Patek Philippe Reference 5990. I want to thank Boodles in Dublin for their great personalized service, and letting me film this beautiful piece. Have a good day, bye.